All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, first I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and others, a great millstone who ruled well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there, to the four considerers pushing this word in our richness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with you another quick lesson to the Spirit and Prayer, Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And um, this lesson is basically another installment of GMS newspaper, as you see it on the screen. And when I paid it, the link in the description box below, it reads U.S. allies, Japan, and South Korea sees Washington as major threat to global security. Okay. All right. And this is posted up on um, February 12th. You know, 2019, the year of Karagma, okay? It's uh, so Japan and South Korea, U.S. allies, and home to a combined 82,000 U.S. troops see the United States as a major threat to global security. The Koreans fear the U.S. more than North Korea and more than anyone fears Russia. All right, so they fear <laughs> not only the U.S., but they fear, you know, the most, they fear the, the retaliation of Russia, okay? It says, the, wor the world is a fearful place. A new Pew Research survey has found cyber attacks, Islamic terrorism, economic instability, and climate chaos are all considered threats to global security. However, the power and influence of the United States is keeping more people than ever before up at night, e even as Trump, President Trump, withdraws troops from Syria and boasts of and boasts of strides towards peace with North Korea. It says in 2013, only one quarter of people across 22 nations saw U.S. as a threat to their countries. That figure jumped to 38% in 2017 and rose for, further to 45% last year in 2018. All right. So, hey, man, these countries are, uh, are, are recognizing that America is, is a threat to them, man. All right. Which is all according to the scriptures, man. The allies of you know, um, America basically, you know, turning against them. Okay. You know, it says, um, among America's allies, the results of the results are striking. 67% of South Koreans view the U S as a major threat to their security level with the amount who view North Korea as a threat. In Japan, 66% view the U.S. as a threat, while 73% fear North Korea. It says, of the 22 of the 26 nations interviewed, the Japanese and the North and the South Koreans are the most fearful of the U.S. power, ahead of Mexico at 60. 4%. It says the, the survey was published on Sunday as pre, as US President Donald Trump gears up for a second meeting with North Korea leader Kim Jong Un in 2 weeks time. Trump has held the meeting as advancing the cause of peace despite the fact that the US intelligence community Concluded recently that Kim remains unlikely to give up his nuclear arms. All right. Um, let's see. I'll just read a little bit more and then we'll get the scriptures, man. It says for North Korea, for South Korea, the potential for, for conflict between the U S and North Korea makes the two nations equal threats. The North reportedly to has tens of thousands of, Artillery pieces aimed at the southern capital of Seoul, ready to obliterate obliterate the city should the two countries frozen war turn hot again. It says likewise any U.S. response to North Korea, the fire and fury 
Trump once promised to meet any northern aggression with would have massive consequences for the South. So, hey, man, these countries are knowing that um, that ultimately America is a threat to them, man. And in, in, in every form and, you know, in shape, man, if they go a war to the country next to them, the country next to them, since they're out of them, is going to blow them to smithereens, basically, man, you know? So these countries are seeing that America is a threat to them as a whole, man. And they're, hey, this is just more... uh. You know, prophecy coming to pass, man, because the allies of America turn on America because they're going to realize that, hey, man, America has, you know, uh, you know, basically um, F them over, man. OK, and we're going to get the scripture on that, man. OK, it says is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. All right. Which is this is a NATO and EU. OK. All right, it says, these shall hate the whore, okay, and the whore is America, man. All right, Babylon the Great that the Bible speaks of, man. All right, the daughter of Babylon, man. All right? It says, and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And those are the thermonuclear missiles, man, okay, you know, which, you know, you're seeing you know, that these countries are starting to hate the whore, man, okay, and soon... They're going to make it desolate, naked, all right? And they're going to shoot them thermonuclear missiles on this place, man. And this place is going to be consumed with fire, man, okay? You know? So 200 million missiles will hit America, man, all right? And it's going to be from not only um, America's enemies, but the allies, man, you know? Because the allies and the horror were um, the 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 beasts and the horror were, you know, um, <laughs> friendly uh, allies at one point. But it's going to come to the point where the, that, that beast is going to... Hate the whore, man. All right, this you know, NATO, the EU, and all their allies and stuff, you know, is gonna hate the whore, hate America, and destroy America, man. So, just showing you off this article, Akim. Hey, man, prophecy is coming to pass, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Shai is working things in, the, in the um, you know, things that we can't see. The Lord is making things happen, man. All through the spirit, man. All right, because His vibration is going throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, um. Let me see. Let's see if I can get another scripture real fast before I close it out. Uh, let's see. Get this. Because it's going to come to a point where all these uh, nations are going to um, come uh, come against America, man. Okay? It says, um, let's see. Okay, right, here it is. All right, this is the book of um this is the book of Joel chapter three verse twelve. It says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Kind and that's gonna that's gonna be happening soon, man. Alright, so Lord is gonna be ramping up these nations to all come down to the Valley of Jehoshaphat, you know, Valley, you know, which is, you know, Yahweh Shapat, all right, and this World War Three, man, all right, the allies are going to turn against, you know, you know, you know, fight against each other, but they're only going to turn against America and, and that Valley of Jehoshaphat, man, all right, right before our Lord, Yahweh Shai pops up, all right, this is Joel, uh, chapter 3, jump to, uh, verse uh, 14, it says, multitudes, multitudes in the Valley of Decision for the day of Yahweh, is near in the Valley of Decision. That's the Valley, you know, a Jehoshaphat, man. Okay? So, Yahweh Shema Shai is going to bring them all down. All right? But ultimately, they're going to turn on America, man. All right? They're going to hate the whore, turn on America, even the allies, and shoot their missiles on them, man. Okay? You know? So, hey, man, the Lord is just doing, you know, making things known that his words are faithful and true, man. Okay? His words are always been faithful and true. And I'm going to get that last scripture. I'm going to end it off on that for you, Um... This book of Second Ezra. Let's see. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. All right. This is a uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen. I'm starting verse one. This is a. Uh, it says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of, speak 
speak down the ears of my people, all right, which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? All right, you are the, that my people. It's talking about you, man, all right? And confusion of faces who line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who the world and he calls God and Jesus Christ, is talking to you, okay? It says, speak down the ears of my people, the words of prophecy, okay? Which means to say things, you know, before they actually happen, okay? That's prophecy, man, okay? It says, which... I will put in thy mouth, save Yahweh. So, you know, hey man, the Heavenly Father is going to put his words in our mouth, which is the prophets, man. So we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shema al Shai, all right? And we're going to see, you know, what 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 are the qualities about the, these words, man. All right, it says, verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, all right, which is the Bible, all right? Uh, the King James Version 1611, all right, with the Apocrypha, okay? All right, those are the words that is written in paper okay it says for they are faithful and true kind all right they're faithful and true so they will come to pass man all right so the allies of america will turn on america man all right because they see what they see america as a global threat to them all right so they're gonna basically turn against america and fight on the side um that's winning, man, which will be the, technically, will be the other nations when they shoot the nuclear missiles off, man, on America, man, all right? But, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come back and conquer all, man, okay? So, just, you know, just showing you, Lord is, you know, moving things throughout the four corners of the earth. We just got to stay faithful, you know, have faith, and, and pray that, you know, we endure until the end, as the scriptures say. So, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Krakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the full concert of pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity to the elect. Shalom.